In one of the previous videos, I went through the process of installation of EVNG VM on VMware Workstation Player. In this video, I will show you three potential problems that you can face when working with GNS3 on VMware. Problem number one. We have everything on VMware and we try to start a virtual machine, but now we are getting this message. Error while powering on. This host supports Intel BTX, but Intel BTX is disabled. So this means that something is wrong with the configuration for the virtualization feature on the BIOS. So we need to restart our computer and then get into the BIOS setup. So typically we need to use a function key. In my case, I'm using a Dell laptop, so I have to press F12, but that key can be different based on your model of laptop. So we need to look for the BIOS setup configuration menu. So you can see here, I have this list. Now I'm going to BIOS setup. So here we need to look in every menu, but in my case, in the advanced tab, I have this feature called virtualization. So you need to change the value from disable to enable, then press enter. And after that, we are ready. So I can now save that and then I can reboot this device. So you can see the device is rebooting. And with that, we have solved the problem number one. Problem number two. The virtualization is enabled on the BIOS, but still we are trying to open this virtual machine. And when playing that machine, we get this message, virtualized Intel BTX EPT is not supported on this platform. So this has to do with Hyper-B. We have enabled Hyper-B, we have installed Hyper-B in the operating system. So we need to remove that feature because it's making a conflict with VMware. So after going to Windows features, we need to look for virtual machine platform and Windows hypervisor platform and we need to disable those and then click OK. This is going to take some seconds and after that we'll be ready to restart this machine. And the problem two will be solved. Problem number three. In this case, we are able to play the virtual machine the operating system boots correctly. We get the IP address for getting access via the graphical user interface. We can go to the web browser, we can type that IP address and we have access to the graphical user interface. So at that point, everything looks good. We can get into the topologies, we can see the virtual routers in the work area but if we try to start those devices, we get the message KBN acceleration cannot be used. Even if we try to start only one device, still we are getting the same message. So that's something that is related with the setting for that particular VM. So we try to start those devices and still we are getting KBN acceleration cannot be used. The virtualization is enabled, we don't have Hyper-B running but still we are getting that message. So we need to shut down the virtual machine and then to solve that problem, we need to go to VMware, but before playing that VM, we need to go to the settings. And then in the settings, we can go to processors and we need to enable the virtualized Intel BTX EPT or AMD V feature that is in that section. After that, we can safely play the VM and hopefully now all those problems will be fixed. You can see that we are getting the IP address. We have the port 80 for getting access. I can go to the browser. I have the topology. We have the virtual routers on, in the work area and now we can play those devices. You can see all nodes successfully started. If I try to get access via web console to every router in that topology, I will successfully get access to them. So you can see that everything is booting correctly. I'm typing my credentials and now I'm in. So I'm able to configure those migratory routers. 
So that basically means that we have fixed the problem. Now we are ready and we can start to create multiple apps, multiple topologies from simple to complex using MIGROTIC devices. Remember that GNS 3 BM support images from MIGROTIC and also from multiple vendors. I hope that you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.